Begin by shaving a small amount of fur over the planned insertion site. Apply LMX cream and massage in to desensitize the insertion point. Allow this to sit while gathering remaining materials. Shave a large enough area to avoid dragging the IVC through the fur when inserting the catheter. Wash your hands and apply two sets of clean exam gloves to your hands. Remove any additional fur from the area that may contaminate the site and begin scrubbing the insertion site first and then the surrounding area. Once the site has been aseptically prepped, adequately remove the top layer of exam gloves. Avoid touching the insertion site once it is thoroughly prepped as this contaminates the freshly prepped site. For patients with tough skin, use a pre-poke with a fresh needle to break the first layer of skin, avoiding the vessel. Insert appropriately sized IBC for the patient's body weight and vessel size. Avoid placing too low on the limb whenever possible to avoid having to tape on the joint. Remember, bigger isn't always best. Once the catheter is inserted into the vessel, have the assistant place pressure over the endpoint of the IVC, avoiding the aseptically prepped point of insertion. This will help prevent blood from exiting the IVC onto the surrounding area, leading to site contamination. Flush the IVC with sterile unheparinized 0.9% saline, having an assistant feel for patency near the elbow joint. Anchor the IVC in place with one loop of tape, avoiding the insertion site. Place a sterile dot band-aid directly over the insertion site, keeping the area from coming in contact with unsterile bandage material. Continue taping up the leg to cover more surface area. Avoid taping directly on the joint to help prevent paw swelling and catheter movement. IVC should be broken down and re-evaluated at least every 24 hours and monitored hourly for any signs of pain, infection, or swelling.